Zod 4.1 came out with a new feature, Codex. It's a bidirectional way to transform from one schema to another, and it's super useful for Nux because we can now plug that into parsers. Let me show you how it works. So what we have here, this sorting schema, is the state that you would find in Tanstack table for sorting. It sorts against an ID with a descending Boolean property, which tells you which way you sort, ascending or descending. And so we want to encode this in the URL in the way that we have the ID and the descriptor separated by a colon. So we define in our Zod codec, the input is a string, because the URL is a string, and we can pass this schema that we are expecting as the output. And now we have to define these two functions, decode and encode, and we split our string with the colon, we get the ID and the disk, which is a string at this stage. And so now we can return the shape that our sorting schema expects. And in the encode function, we do the opposite. We generate a string from this object, which contains ID and desk. And so now the cool part is that we can connect that to Nux using this create codec parser function and get a Nux parser, which gives you the right shape for your URL state. So you can see that sort here is this ID string or descending Boolean. So here I can go and click this, and you see the state is represented correctly, and the URL is encoded using Zod. Cool! So how does this work? It's actually surprisingly simple. It's just a direct connection between Zod codecs and Nux parsers, because they do essentially the same thing. The one thing that we have to add is this EQ function. So we want to make sure that two things are equal for the clear on default feature. Let me show you. If in my parser here, I add a default value with default, and we're gonna say foo false, so foo ascending. When I click this, you see that it stays in the URL, even though it's the default value, because the value that I'm setting here and the value that is passed here are essentially the same values, but they are referentially different. So we need to tell it how to check if two things are equal. Just referential equality will not do here. If we pass two objects here, for example, we are going to check that the IDs are the same, the sending property are the same, and therefore they are the same. And so here I should be able to go here and go back, and you see now it disappears from the URL because we have set it to the default value according to clear on default. So I will add a link to this function in the description below. And it means that now we can use Zod codecs in Nux.